Showing things over here. So, we're going to break out from that central area and get the ball into wide areas. Now, we may look at it and go, is that too big a distance to cover in the space and time that we've got? And we'll work that out. We're going to have four versus three in that area. Blue's favour, I don't like that, so I'm going to change that. And I'll have a neutral who's a server playing the board. So you said you were centre back after? Okay, so until then, take your bib off, stick it in your waistband. You're the server starting the practice. And then we've got three versus three in there. So, server is going to send the ball in.
will be wide, will be wide, will be the person receiving it. Then we'll place them there. So we'll dip the hands again now in the space. Do you see where it's going to happen? How many times do you combine before you play out? Minimum of two. Who do you play out to and then where do you go? Who do you play out to? Yeah, okay, good. Foundation phase, there's no offsides at the moment. Okay, so ready? Let's just walk through with hands. Play. One, two, bang, there. Touch, delivery, finish. What to start off with? You can jog it just to get used to it, but you're not going to go full pelt yet because we just have a few attempts of this so people can get used to it. Okay, off you go. <coughs> Feet now, hands are just for demo. Danny, watch that ball behind you. Start on that back line, Blues. Yeah? Hey! Okay, good. So, well done, defenders. Great job. As is, you're not a ball boy. You're a player in here. We'll get other people to collect the ball. Is it not possible anymore? Okay. I thought they were. You start in here. No, they're, they're, they're making you work for it. Okay, so, that's fine. Don't worry, we're getting used to the practice. So, if you go and play up against Sophie, don't stand up there. Imagine that I'm Jake. Yeah? So, the ball goes in, bang, bang, and you play off of that. Of course you can. You've had two touches. One, two, out. All right? Good, Jake. So just looking at how the wide man gets out, what type of running makes, what type of receiving touch, play to a finish. Okay, good. Reset. Lou, head up. Don't worry about that. It's gone. Great movement. So, okay. So we're just looking at the uh, unopposed bit, and as you can see, motivation levels are quite low, going through the motions. Up against no opposition usually has this sort of impact. That's why I'd always have it more realistic, but the players just want to get used to the practice and having some unopposed balls in first. Just walk it. You've got to save your legs. Don't worry, it's not a fitness test. Feet are right, yeah? You told me you could put them on the 10 pegs. Well then. Hey, defenders, I really like that the realism is magic. If you want to win now, you score a point by driving over this end line. Okay, so if you win it, I want you to position as if you would do in a match. Play. Sit. Good. So just looking at the angle of approach from Aziz, I think it was too flat and it probably should have been more curved. We'll have one more of these. Whoa, save your energy, it's fine. Because, wait there, I thought it in the start, we're just going to play out to the white line. So that will be our touch line from now on. We're not going to go full width anymore. Because I'm looking at it and going, this is unrealistic space in a distance. Ready? Play. Good. 
Hannah, you come out here then. Recovering fullback, is that right or not? Or was that Danny? We need a recovering fullback, Dan. He's going to regret that. Okay, so, what we're going to say is, so you're going to have the ball. You're going to be looking to play it out to Danny, who's bombing on. Yeah? You're going to intercept it, so we're going to give it away. You put your bib back on, you're going to be a recovering player coming back in. Okay? So Sophie has the ball to start. All you're going to do is turn, and then on your turning back, that's our trigger to go live. We're trying to get it to Danny. So Danny, you might just be out here a bit. So you try to send me it, look, you then steal it, and then we play from there. However, Louis not going to drive straight down there, you're going to recover. What we're going to look for you to do, Lou, is if I have the ball, I've intercepted it, I'm going to look to play one square to my teammate, who then playing the striker, which allows me time to get here and deal with that. Okay, Hannah, you're going to drop in as a recovering player now. Both you're going to recover in as well. You would just be a little bit higher. So in line with these red lines now. See the two red dots? You're going to be there. In relation to the ball, Vas. See higher. The ball is up here. At Sophie's feet. You're just going to recover in for the moment. But you're not going to go all, all the way. Ready? Let's see how we get on. Okay, let's go again. So as we can see, structure in these type of drill-based practices needs people to be better at certain roles. It can break down a lot more than other ways. So Dan, be a little bit wider, Dan. Dan, almost touch line because she's looking to play you in. Why are you making things up? What are you doing? So, in a game, this is a game. We're not going to allow, you're going to apply pressure. Yeah? We want to make that unattractive as a pass for her. So there's three there. She's looking to play to Danny's touch line, which is white line. Louis, you're encouraging that. Yeah, and then making the part, the run at the last minute. So you go, it's there, bang, and then in. All right, I'm not going to be too tough on you because you're strangers, but can we try and play it a little bit better, please? Ready? Go! Now we're finally getting a decision where to play it with. Do it! Hold! Go back! Stay with the word! So, Lou, just talk us through. What did you see? What did you see? What was your thoughts? So, you were trying to get it to where? Liam, what did you see though? So, you allowed the cross, so come back. That wasn't blocked off. Oh, please, Jake. 